Hello, yesterday we learned how to design a footing foundation or a path foundation on the new version of this software 26 Prota Structure. Now, today I will be showing you how to create the design report for the path foundation. Before creating a design report for any of the structural member, either beam, foundation, column, or slab, or any member, concrete wall, or anything. There are some settings you are meant to perform or to do before you can be able to achieve a good design report. So right now, on this video, I'll be showing you how to um, create a good design report for your um, for your path, foundation, footing design. Once you're done with your design on the path foundation. Okay, that's fine. So right now, the, the first thing I'll do is to go to my setting center. Now, before we begin, if you're new on Ekidel, please consider subscribing. And if you're an old subscriber, consider joining the Ekidel membership. And if you want a one-on-one -on -one training, consider joining the Ekidel mentorship training. That's fine. So right now, I'll go to my design um, setting center. Okay. And then once you're on setting center, the first thing to do is to come towards project preference. So on this place right now, we want to insert or impute the um, the actual uh, names that we want it to appear on the design reports. Now, note that this 26 version of Prototature is for it to function very well. For this sort of function very very well, it must be licensed or shared li license to your name. As you can see that my here is saying what engineer justice worker which you're seeing here. So this will also follow on the on the design reports. Okay, that's fine. So on this case right now, I will now come and put here. They said what de designed by who? I performed the the um, the design. So I also come here and then put my name, um, engineer justice engineer just a short form of that then dot justice i can choose to just put in first name and then um make the last name to be just um one symbol then i'll come again and they say now check by what this checked by is not by you is is by your boss so in my own case my boss i'll put here engineer peter so i'll come here right now and then put here engineer uh, peter Okay, that's fine. Then they come again here right now. They say drawn by who? Now, if you have someone that uh, that will draw the detailing for you, if it is not you, you can put um, any of your boy. So in this case, I'll put engineer um, John. Okay, so you put the person that will draw it for you. Then um, you can choose to skip this one presented by who you can choose to leave that and then the client's name is very very also important so i'll come here now that says the client's name i'll come here the name of this client i'll just type um, client's name uh, mr mr um let me name let me just put um james okay james that's fine not all cap, cap lock james and then james what james um Anything okay, that, that is okay. Then project title. This is also very, very, very important. Then come again and let me say one story, um, one story residential, residential. Okay, that's fine. Building design, um, building design that's fine okay so you have to put in the the title of the project here that's fine so once you've done that now you can leave every other thing here at default you've done that necessary you can put the project date you can leave down to not that not that um, necessary true but you can just pick any date you want let me just pick um this date here okay that's fine so every other thing here is not that uh, important Okay, that's fine. So once you've done this now, the next thing to do is to do a, come here, right? You can choose to also add um, a note here if you want to add a note, okay? You can see this version gives you chance to add a note, okay? For example, project note that says um, all, all measurements, you can see that, all measurements are in uh, millimeter, millimeter, okay? Sorry for that. Okay. And then maybe something again. Um, all life loads. Life loads. 
are 1.5 um, kilonewton kilonewton per meter square okay that's fine then what again not again that's all you can just add any other note that you want to add in the stand or not that onto this place okay that's fine so let me sorry to that that's bad so once you've done all that now and added all your notes and everything you can um choose to add um what once you have it all or all that they can now come and do a click on what and say um okay here so once you've said okay from the culture always try to save for it to take the new settings you have done okay now once it's done saving now the next thing we'll do right now is to do what is now move on to now um create our design reports analysis and design reports for the footing okay that's fine so in this case now to create your analysis and design report for the footing knowing that, that the footing was done on story zero that's below the below the ground level okay that's fine so i'll come now on that story zero here and go quickly go to um pad pie, pie caps and pad base okay you can see it here so i right, right click on this now and then you see the first one print pad and pie base results all columns so i'll click on this right now they will show you this interface to choose the numbers of and for, for example knowing that these softwares create so many design reports so in this case you can choose the ones you want it to um, create the report knowing that you might have a similar base for example you can have base one up to two or three types base two up to one or three types so you can just choose to just print only one of them remember on, on, our, on, on our yesterday's video i was telling you the culture of um tagging your sizes of your base for example if you have one by one make sure that, that they have the same base type one so this is where it will be very very helpful so in this case you can see that we have base type one and base type one so instead of me printing these two reports i'll just quickly what choose only one and then this let one and then come and choose base type two and then come and choose um, base type one a and then base type five and then base type four so you can see this is how you want to um put but if you want to click all of them you can choose to click on here that says um base footing here and, and everything will be what's selected okay but in this case i want to create um just the ones i want that that, that just one among each of the group okay and not all of them so in this case now just pick base five and i can i even i tagged this one too but because because we didn't tag this one you can see that but let me just print all of them at once okay so i'll come and then click here and then say um okay but make sure you, if you don't to print so many volume of what sheet of paper then make sure you tag your foundations based on the names and the sizes so that you can be, be, be able to print each among each of the groups so right now it's not trying to do what to create the report as you can see it here right now the report is being created now in in, in the less than uh, in less than 10 um, seconds we will see the report being created okay that's fine so right now th this is now the report of this so you can see that all the things that we added here you can see the project title once story building is here the date of the project you can see the dates here and then um checked by is also here in jenepita and then designed by is um here by my name and then the name of the license for the software the person that owns the software license or the name that the software was licensed to is here okay remember i told you that this 2026 version of project comes with for you to function effectively you either have a personal license or you have a shared license if you want to share, have a shared license you can um, contact us Ekidel, and then you'll be, you, you we, we will give you a shared license note the code that will be given to you will only work in your laptop and if at all you format your laptop you can also use it on that same laptop okay that's fine but if you purchase a new laptop then that will be a different bargain altogether okay that's fine so right now, you, you cannot see what this, this is now the symbols of what they use for loading dimension and everything 
at the end, if now come down, they cannot see your design reports here. Okay, that's fine. You can see the reports, and this is a very well detailed report. Okay, compared to other versions. Okay, that's fine. So you cannot see the reports for each of the footings, and then we move to footing two. You can see that, and so on and so forth. When you have done with this, you can choose to move it to what to PDF or save as PDF or Word. For me, I like to use what PDF. So I'll come now and then click on what PDF here, and automatically. Automatically right now it will show you where to save. I want to save this now on a desktop, but you can choose a folder to save all your reports. So in this case, I'll choose desktop now and then come here and title it what? Um, pad base or footing design. Footing design report. That's fine. And I'll come now and then click on what save. If we now go to, go to our desktop now, we'll be able to see that PDF being saved. Although it, it can still open here because I'm using um, a licensed PDF, so it can still open here too. So in this case, now you cannot see that this is how it is. Okay, that's fine. So you cannot see that it has now opened on our PDF Nitro uh, PDF with it. You cannot see the report here being shown fully. Okay, that's fine. So this is the report for our pad base footing. Okay, that's fine. So in this case, now you can choose to print out the, the number of pages you have. You can see that it has so many pages here. You can choose to print out the, the the few pages that you want to print out, but if you can print out all two, then that is fine. So I will come and do what close this one and then um, cancel um, this here. And I can see that this is the way to print or to print your design report for your footing foundation. So thank you so much and God bless you. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to model a basement because on this new version of Project 26, it models basement below the grade level, that's below the ground level, which is how it is meant to be. On our other versions, we used to model basement on the first floor. That, that's on the story one. And then we need to add soil load. But in this case, in this new version, they have they have added that you can model your basement. You can see basement what here, sub basement wall, which it can only be modeled below the grade level, that below the ground level. Okay? That's fine. So in, in my next video, I'll be showing you how to model this. And and we will be using this 15 story building to demonstrate that this 15 um, story building you are seeing here to demonstrate that so we will be designing this 15 story building on this new version of the software portal structure now this one doesn't have a basement but i'll just add it a basement for you to just see how to add a basement and after i can actually do what remove it and then continue with our design for this 15 story building you are seeing here on the screen and also we will also design for this open well staircase too using the same software portal 2026 okay because it has a place it has a it, it, it has that kind of what staircase for design this is just a half ton staircase which you have modeled here but on, on the one I just showed you now, we have an open well, which I'll show you how to also design for an open well staircase or a dog leg staircase. That's fine. So thank you so much and God bless you. And if this video is very, very um, good for you, please, I would like to do a, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if this is your first time. Also share this video to your friends and colleagues. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye then.